everybody, welcome to another episode of Kebab Train! What's up, everybody? I hope you saw some of that. <laughs> this right here is the Kebab Fort. <laughs> the kebab fort is a very simple construction as you can see just a, a bunch of kebab sticks that I had laying around that, I, that were kind of the same length and I was like you know what I can do with these and then a bunch of other little sticks that I actually chopped most of these but like a, some of them were just like hanging around and most of these were just bits that were hanging around. So I reutilized a bunch of just bits I had hanging around into a little little fort that goes with let's pull out the <laughs> let's pull out the kebab uh, barrage goes with the barricades that you have previously seen as previously seen barricades. Boom boom, you know. It's a, it's a little strong point, I guess. I don't know. It's made for a single squad. Like, not exactly a place where you can fit 30 orc boys. But you can pack... Damn. Knocking shit all over the place. You can fit, you can bung a decent amount of models in there. That's four, what are these? 38s? And then three of these, 28s. So, yeah, you can put a decent amount of models in there. I'm, I was, I'm pretty sure you can fit at least 10 of these guys pretty comfortably in there. That's kind of what it's designed for. It's like 10 of the like 28 millimeter, whatever these are, bases, small spaces, and like, you know, you can put a smaller Death Shroud squad in there. Like, you know, you get like smaller large base squad, small like 10 man infantry squad, that sort of thing, command squad, the place for your HQs, and then you set up the barricades. This is the right, this is what the, the one looks like. It'll be going next to ones like this, and like this, and uh, here, we'll just set something up real quick. Yeah. Little, a little fort looking deal. You know, you can set it up, and it's pretty easy to construct. I mean, what you see is what you get with it. I just, just stacked them. Boom. Simplicity is uh, uh, the key to this. If you're trying to overcomplicate it, what I will say is you need to get the base down here where you, where you connect this and like get a little frame in the bottom. I didn't think about that till too late. You need a, a connector frame because it does get pretty flexible until you put a connector right there. And I also put these spikes right here. You know, they're spikes, but they're mostly there to reinforce these corners. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this short episode of Kibbaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa